hey you guys welcome back to my channel so i did i uploaded a video maybe two weeks ago of the louis vuitton bum bag and in that video i i mentioned that i wasn't quite sure about the bag just certain features of it just didn't sit well with me and i, and I just wasn't sure if it was going to work out for me in particular the white inner lining of the bag was really concerning for me so anyway, I ended up, um, and I think I may have mentioned in that video that I was also going to consider the mini bum bag. Well, today, I'm sure you saw from the thumbnail that I did get my hands on the mini bum bag. I was able to secure it through the Louis Vuitton website. Without further ado, I'm going to show you all the bag now. I've already opened it and tried it on and... Uh, so in this video, I'll just kind of show you the features and then show you a lot of different things that could fit in this bag. And I'm going to move this aside. So, so here it is. It is so stinking cute. You've probably seen a lot of videos on this bag already, but here are just some of the features. So in the front here, it says Louis Vuitton Paris. And then on the zipper tab, it just has LV written on it and it's the shiny gold hardware and so you can unzip this the zipper is super smooth and then it has this front compartment here that can fit quite a bit of things and you'll see it in a little bit um, then it comes with the zipper but before i move to the inside just want to show you the sides here so it just has this little d-ring and it also comes with another d-ring here and the zipper tab here has lv written on it is nothing in the back of the bag it's just plain no back slip or anything and yeah so let me go ahead and unzip so you can see what the inside looks like and this zipper is pretty smooth as well so here you'll see on the inside here it says Louis Vuitton made in Italy and I have the straps all sitting in here one even those out so it comes with two strap options it comes with this chain strap that is more of a shoulder carry strap or you can keep it in on the bag decoratively so here I'll just go ahead and attach it so you could have it just sort of hanging or you could use it to either hand carry it or um, wear it on your shoulder and then comes with this strap which sits when I try to use it to wear a cross body it sits kind of high on me and I'll show you all mod shots at the end of how I um, how this bag sits on me and for reference I am five eight and a half and a size 14 so here it is this strap is better um, on me used as a waist belt and you'll see um, how that is like I said at the end so let me just give, show you a little bit of the features of the straps here and also the inside as well. And so you'll see on the gold chain, it has LV on here and then LV also written on the other one. And it's actually on both sides of this. So that's that. And then the... Um, like I said, this one sits high on me crossbody, but it's a perfect size for wearing it on your waist, which is how I plan to mostly use it. And here it has the LV here and also the LV on the other side. Similarly, LV here and LV on the other side. And this is the treated vaquetta. And this is actually two um, straps, as you'll see here. You can unhook this and pull it out so this one is just a separate strap so that's that so now and i'll go ahead and move to the to show you all what fits portion of the video so i brought out a few things here that i want to try out so i brought with me a few options here so i have the mini pochette just to see if they'll fit i'll probably would not use a mini pochette in this bag brought out my six ring key holder, my AirPod. I brought out this flat card holder. Then I brought out the wallet that I'm currently using, which is the Louis Vuitton business card holder. And then obviously I have a phone. So 
let's get started. So first, I always have, need to make sure my phone fits, and this is the iPhone 13, and that fits fine. Um, let me try with the business card holder first. So I have the business card holder here, and the interior is dark. And it's actually, the, so I probably, I didn't talk about the interior, so let me take those out just really quickly. The interior is just one open interior. There's nothing, no zipper, no slip compartments on the inside. It's kind of dark, so you may not be able to see it very well. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and put the phone in, business card holder, so I'm just going to leave it vertical that way. And then I have my six ring key holder that sits right next to it and then what i'm going to do is put my airpods in this front flap here and actually i think i can fit like a lippy so this is the dior lip glow and that should be able to fit right there and that fits perfectly on top there and it's uh oh okay and it zips <laughs> I was like, ah, okay, so that zips fine. And then, so I have, again, my phone, business card holder, and six ring key holder. And yeah, so that zips perfectly. So this is ideally how I would probably carry it um, for errands and just carrying it on the weekend. And so let's go ahead and see what else the different other combinations we could do. So I could, what I would do is I probably would not take this business card holder. Ideally, I would put a flat card holder in here and then use my six ring key holder and just carry it that way. And there, so that way that leaves a little more room on the inside here to put a few more things. So maybe take the lip balm out of here and actually put it in the main compartment. And there's still a ton of room to put other things. And I could even take this out and also put it in the main compartment here. So really by using a flat card holder, you just create more space to put more things in here. So that's perfect. Let me go ahead and show you all how the mini pochette would whether the mini pochette can fit. So here the mini pochette just houses um, some charging cords and an emergency earbuds, wired earbuds. So here it is. And so it does go in, oh, I forgot the lip balm in here. So it actually goes in, but obviously takes up a little too much space there let me see if i can get a phone in there along with that oh, that's not a good phone i guess maybe if i rearrange things a little let me see if the phone is in the back if that would work okay so it's a little bit of tetris here that you would need to do but that's so that fits in there again i wouldn't use the mini push out with this bag and then i'd probably just put the air airpods in there and then the lip balm in here and zip it and then i would use the flat card holder for sure so that all fits in so this is again another combination so this is surprisingly a good size i obviously can't fit my Six ring key holder in there so what I would just do is just take my key fob out and just stick it on top here somewhere and that's fine and that is it so again this little bag is surprisingly big enough and can fit quite a bit of things if you just sort of maneuver it well but like I said, I would not put, use the mini pochette in this bag because that just does not make sense in my opinion. And yeah, so that is it. As I mentioned, I ended up getting this cutie through the Louis Vuitton website. 
I called Louis Vuitton multiple times to try to get my hands on it, see if I could order it. I couldn't. I reached out to my essay. She said it was not available to be ordered. And so I just really pretty much just stalked the website. And one day I just kind of lucked out and happened to see it on showing place and cart. And I immediately added it to my cart, immediately checked out. And I was shocked that I was able to get my hands on it because in the past when there's there have been hard to get items and I've done that. Usually by the time I reach checkout, it's gone because someone else has already beaten me to it. But this time I got really lucky. So I ordered it and it took about two weeks from when I ordered for it to ship because they did say that it's on high demand. So you could only just order and then just sort of wait for it to then become available and ship out. So I would say about two weeks. I ended up returning the other uh, the high rise bum bag just because I know myself and I knew that I probably just would not use it. So yeah, this one is really cute. Um, I think I'm going to keep it. I'm still just sort of playing around with it. I would say that wearing it around the waist with the strap that it comes with, the Viqueta strap, does work better than wearing it cross body on me. But when I use my pochette Matisse strap on this to wear it cross body, I love the look. It was it was kind of a game changer for me with this bag because at first I was like, eh, I don't know about this. I don't want to just only be able to wear it around my waist, but the pochette matisse strap was amazing. Then I also tried the my Speedy 20 in Damier, the strap that comes with that, and I love that look as well. So that was really encouraging, and I think if I were to keep it, which I really am strongly considering keeping it, um, I'm going to use uh, those two straps when I don't want to wear it around my waist and yeah so anyway I uh, just want to do a quick reveal and review and what fits I really love the look of this little cutie and yeah I don't have anything negative to say about it the inside is a darker uh, lining it's a microfiber lining which I like and it's not going to be prone to getting dirty I'm not sure if I'm going to get a bag organizer for it because I don't know if it makes sense just given the size of it but we'll see anyway leave me a comment let me know your thoughts on this bag if you like it how you're getting on with it and as always thank you all so so much for watching these videos and commenting liking and if you enjoy the content of this channel please definitely consider subscribing I would love to have you and stay tuned after this to see the mod shots of me wearing this bag with the two different straps as well as the strap that comes with it.